The idea of this technique is somebody has come up from behind you and grabbed your wrists. The reason they would do this is more than likely because you're going to take you somewhere. So be wary of that. But for right now, we're just going to look at a few different ways of addressing how to get out of the grab itself. So he comes up and he grabs from behind. One of the things you can do is lean your body forward so that he's not going up against your shoulders, injuring your shoulders when you're trying to take your balance for this technique. You're going to lean your body forward and then kick him off of you as you pull your arms out and get away. In another version of this, you're finding it harder to get out. You step, but I can only get one arm out. Now there's a trick to doing that, to make getting your arm out almost every time. What I do is I roll the wrist towards the weak point in the grip. So I roll the wrist so that the thin part of the wrist is aligned with that part of the grip. So I step and I roll the wrist and pop it up. You might want to counter grab this hand just so that you can do your follow-ups without him getting away on you. So this is no longer a threat to you, it's now a threat to him. So I step here and I roll the wrist and pop it out. From here, you can hit in the head or chest depending on what you can reach. Clip up through the face to make his head turn back and start bashing down on the body. He will let go at that point. If he's significantly bigger than you, it's possible that you won't even be able to get out from that. If that be the case, then what you're going to do is step your body weight towards him and bash the bicep with your elbow. This will loosen his grip. Now the angle of release is down this way. So you'll release this way, counter grab here, take his head and start kneeing. Get distance, get to a safe position. 